And a lot of tires have treads on them, so you want to make sure that the tread is going the correct way. Basically, if you see, you have, a, you have gears in the back, um, basically what would have to happen is the, the tread would have to go with the wheel. So you can see it would go this way. And a lot of mechanics, what we like to do is we like to put the actual label right where the valve is. So if you do have a flat and you pump up your tube, you can see exactly where the hole would be. It makes it a lot easier for, uh, for fixing flats. So you just put the one side on, and then you're going to get your tube. And make sure that you pump up the tube slightly, just so it becomes round. So it's easier to put inside the tire, and so also you, so you don't pinch it um, when you're putting on the other side. And you start with the valve here. Put the valve in, pull the tire over the tube, and start pushing the tube inside the tire and the rim. So once you get it inside the tire and the rim, what you're going to do is you're going to push the other side of the tire, the sidewall of the tire, onto the actual rim. So you're going to start at the valve, you're going to start opposite of where you took it off, and basically use the back of your hand to push the tire on, making sure that you're not pinching the tube. So you, make, you wanna make sure that the tube isn't hanging out here because it'll actually pinch, just like a pinch flat. Um, and then you'll have to replace the tube. So you kinda just wanna go all the way around holding the tire. Sometimes it gets a little difficult, like right at the end here. Um, so you can take a tire lever, make sure that you're not pinching the tube. Use it backwards. So instead of using it this way, like taking off the tire, you turn it upside down and you just hook the tire up onto the rim. Once the tire is on the rim, uh, you want to make sure that you start inflating it. But before you do that, make sure that the tire is seated properly. So basically what that means is there's a seam that runs around most tires that should be even all the way around on both sides. If it's not, then it can cause a blowout, which is never good. So as you pump up the tire, make sure that you keep on looking at the seam to make sure that it's seating properly and make sure that you're keeping an eye on your gauge on your pump to see what pressure it's at. Th this tire, every tire is a little different. Um, it'll actually say on the sidewall of the tire, this si tire says maximum inflation pressure 65 psi. So I want to make sure that I do somewhere around 65 psi. So once you get up to pressure, make sure that you remember to Tighten down that screw if it's a Presta valve. If it's a Schrader valve, make sure to put the cap on it um, because it prevents dirt from getting into the valve. And that's how to replace a tire. Mm -hmm.